with uh, Will, if you want to open up and uh, preview Saturday's game. All right. Well, getting um, got to turn the page after Wednesday night. Uh, obviously, so we've had we had a spirited practice yesterday. I like the way our guys responded yesterday. Um, getting ready to play. You know, hits keep coming. It's the SEC, talented, talented Kentucky team. B.J. Boston played maybe his best game um, this season, uh, their last game against Georgia. And, um, their shot blocking and ability to alter shots at the rim is going to be a major issue for us with Saar, Toppin, and, and Isaiah Jackson, who leads the country in block rate. Um, you know, so we're going to have to do, uh, do a good job getting in the paint and then making the right play uh, once we get in the paint, whether that's kick it out or we got to finish to the outside um, so, so that we don't, we don't give them opportunities to play volleyball on, the, uh, on, our, uh, on our shots. And so uh, certainly Allen's become a big time offensive weapon for him. 75% of his shots are threes. They run some good stuff, some gate plays, some different things to get him the ball when he's in. Uh, bring him off the pin down like they do Boston, and then uh, Askew and, and Mintz have, uh, you know, Mintz has, has been a steady hand both at the one and the two, and um, I believe he's their, their statistically um, made the most threes uh, of anybody on the team, and, and Askew's um, done a good job of, of, of running the team and stepping in and doing what he needs, uh, doing what he needs to do. So, um, you know, it'll be a big, big challenge for us on the road, but we've got to respond the right way, and Certainly, um, certainly play a little bit better offensively and defensively than we did at um, than we did at uh, at home against Alabama on Wednesday, on uh, Tuesday night. Hey, coach. Uh, I'm doing a story on Cam, and I've talked to his high school coach Steve Smith and AAU coach from Boo Williams. And a common theme is how unique his, his preparation is. And I know you said that he has a 9 a.m. shooting slot every morning, and you know six days a week. How would you describe? You know, his preparation, especially for a freshman, 19-year-old, and, and to the, where does it compare to any freshman you've ever coached? It's as mature of an approach as I've, as I've ever seen uh, from a freshman, just in terms of how locked in and how focused he is and just how he has the self-discipline and the day. You know, a lot of guys will do it for four days a week or five days, you know, three days a week, or, hey, I'm going to sleep in this morning or whatever. But, he's, you know, it's six days a week, every day. Um, just the self-discipline that he has, to me, separates him from a lot of other guys. Hey, Coach, you know, I know you mentioned yesterday, that, you know, or just now, actually, that you, you were impressed with, you know, kind of the, the bounce back after a tough loss. I mean, is that something you can go into a little more detail about, just kind of how your team has responded over the last 48 hours? Well, I thought our spirit was good yesterday. You know, we've got to clean up some of the details and things today. We're getting ready to practice here in a little bit and then head up to, head up to Lexington. But... Um, you know, I, I thought our spirit was good. I thought our guys, um, you know, were excited to be there and, and excited to move forward. I've, I've said this from the start. We've got great leadership on this team. And, uh, you know, anybody can, um, anybody can captain a boat in smooth waters. It's what happens when the water gets rocky, the water gets a little bit choppy. You know, that's what makes us a, a, a skilled sailor. And so, um, you know, that's why we've been doing all the leadership stuff that we've been doing since, since this summer. That's why we've been putting a lot of time into it was for moments, uh, moments like this. And so, you know, I told our guys, um, you know, I had a coach who told me, who, who I used to work for who said this, and this is the truth. You play, you play five games a year a lot better than you, than you really are. Uh, probably the Arkansas game would, you know, the 40 to six run against Arkansas, we're certainly not as good as that. You play five games a year below your level where you just kind of stink to join up. I think the Alabama game, although they had a lot to do with it, would fall in that category, but you can't let your five worst games affect those middle 20 games where you're going to play about normal. And so, that's what we've we've tried to focus on and, and, and make sure that that we're uh, you know that, that that we're as ready as we can be to go play a very very talented and very very good Kentucky team. Uh, Jerry, you can uh, go ahead. Yeah, well, I guess you you caught Alabama in one of those five games that. Uh, were you know way up there for them how good are they oh i mean top 10 final four good i mean uh, from what i saw i mean the, their offense gets a lot of the, the the publicity and their offense is certainly tremendous and when they make threes like that i mean it's it, it, it they're very very difficult to beat but their defense i mean they have a top they have the i think the 18th best defense in the country 
Uh, for comparison, I think Kentucky's 24, and both of them are top 25 elite level defenses. Um, and so, uh, you know, their defense, their defense really threw us off. That 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 that's what that got us out of whack. Now, the, our defense is you know is serviceable at best most nights, but but. Um, uh, their defense really threw us out of whack. When they guard like that um, and make shots like that, I mean, they can beat they can beat anybody in the uh, anybody in the country. And I wondered if I can ask one more: the mood of your team after a game like that was it a, a anger or was it a resolve or a disbelief? What uh, I think <laughs> what we were all, you know, I think. The natural reaction, we were all a little disappointed. I mean, very disappointed. We were all embarrassed would be a, would be a good word. But it's like I told our guys, I told them this post game, like, we got to own it. We got out prepared, we got out coached, and we got out played. I mean, it was that. It was, it was, I mean, we, we were 0 for 3. It was a total systems, all systems breakdown. Um, and so, you know, the only thing you can do from there is, is respond the right way. And, and that's focus on the next most important thing, which was, which was have a good day the next day, Wednesday, where we did some treatment and everybody got their bodies right. And then we had a good day of practice yesterday. Hopefully we'll have another good day of practice today. And hopefully, you know, whether or not we win or lose Saturday, we need to, we just need to play better. And uh, I, I have confidence that we're going to play better. It's going to be two desperate teams. Um, you know, I think, I think Kentucky's going to respond after, after the, you know, the, 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 the tough ending there at, at Georgia. And I think our guys are going to respond. So it's going to be, Two hard playing, um, you know, desperate, desperate teams on Saturday. Hey, Will, you, you mentioned some of the offensive struggles a couple nights ago. I mean, just you know, yeah, you guys really haven't gone, you know, through that this year. I mean, just what, what were some of the things they were doing, and then maybe what were some of the things that you noticed looking back? Well, the film? they did some great jobs. They were way up in the gaps. They they they, they, they were not flat with our guys. They, they, they were they were they did a good job. They did a good job on Imwani. They did something a little bit different. Um, that we weren't necessarily we'd prepared for the center to guard him, but they they did some different things, and and we've now obviously uh, prepared for if it happens again. But um, our our number one issue was our spacing was was horrific. Our spacing was as bad as it's been uh, all season, and so um, we spent a lot of time yesterday getting our spacing better. Because if we don't get our spacing better, Kentucky's going to have that lane so clogged up they're going to be blocking everything. So. Um, we spent a lot of time working on our working on our spacing and trying to get our spacing better and, and then get some more movement. We just had there's nowhere to go uh, because we were guarding ourselves and Alabama. I mean, we made it. Alabama's a great defensive team, but we made it we made it a little bit easier on them as well. Um, and so you know they're they're good enough without us helping them. Um, and same thing with Kentucky. Kentucky's plenty good enough without us without us trying to help them out with our poor spacing and some of our, some of our issues. So we got to focus on ourselves and anytime, I mean, we got our doors blown off, um, but I anytime that happens, you know, it's all in the details. And so we, we, there, there's three things that we just had, we, we went back and we've got to hone in on. Our transition defense had been pretty good and we'd been working on it every day and it got good. So we kind of tried to go plug another hole. Well, our transition defense was like a sieve on, on, on Tuesday night. So we got to go plug back up. We got to go plug back up our transition defense. We need to work on our offensive spacing. And then as you know, our defensive rebounding is a continued point of emphasis uh, for us and, and Kentucky's you know, offensive rebounding 42% of their misses. So we're going to have to do a good job on the defensive glass. But, but we, you, know, you win and lose in the margins. Um, even though the number was astronomical uh, on Tuesday, you, you've got to get back to the basics and the fundamentals and focus in on those things, which is what we've spent a majority of our time doing. And then just maybe a little quick follow-up. I mean, just, I, 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 this was just something that I noticed. I don't know if you noticed it too, but, you know, when they got up big on you guys, it looked a little bit like, you know, there was a little bit of iso ball going on. Oh, we came all discombobulated. That's, okay. that's all. We came, we, we came unglued. Okay. We came unglued, starting with me. And so me and filters down, and so you know we came we came unglued. We weren't who we were. Uh, we didn't look like anything like we looked like the rest of the season. And, and um, you know we'll, hopefully we'll look better. Uh, we'll look better on Saturday. Hey, Will.
Well, uh, naturally, it's this Kentucky's had kind of a rough year in some parts of the season, maybe uncharacteristic of them, but it is still Kentucky. Um, what, what do you think maybe has been the problem for them so far at the beginning of this year, and, and what, what do they still do well? Because at the end of the day, it is still Kentucky. They still have the same head coach and they're the same blue blood that they've always been. Well, I mean, they, they're a tremendous defensive team. They're elite, elite defensive team. They're an elite shot blocking team. They're a great offensive rebounding team. And if, you know, I mean, those kind of, uh, you know, those statistical categories match up with areas that, that are not always strengths of ours. So, um, you know, they, they've, they've lost a lot of close games. Or they, they, they've, they've been unlucky in some games. Um, you know, the Notre Dame game, the, the um, the Georgia game just a little bit ago. They've they've just had some, just been one of those one of those years for them. I, don't, I hadn't followed all their season and all their games, but um, it's just been one of those one of those years for them. And um, you know, Coach Cal is a tremendous coach. They've got you know tons of talent still, and so you know eventually they're gonna they're gonna find the right uh, they're gonna find the right mix and get it going. I just hope it's not against us on Saturday. As for Will. Okay. All Thanks, right. Sir. Thanks, guys.